I specifically wanted to talk about, uh, again, what some of the pros are for working with Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and we've talked about several other alternatives, uh, but the main point with using either Facebook, Twitter, or other uh, major mainstream social networking sites is that they already have the traffic and the interest in them. Uh, so that's a lot what I'm going to talk about today. I went through and just sort of made some quick points about uh, some positive aspects to using these more popular social networking sites. Um, I have examples throughout here. They're all from my own profile. Uh, I do rather eclectic things with my profile, including random bits of education uh, within them. Uh, had a comment from a friend once that said, I always go to your profile to learn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so the first bit is you know tweets of knowledge, you know those little those little snippets uh, the, uh, that you'll gain throughout the day. Uh, there are several times where I sometimes summarize a lesson after class, uh, and people are suddenly going, "Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, that summarized it pretty well." Uh, stuff like that. And that's something that you could do as a teacher with your classroom. Uh, it especially helps summarize something uh, if a student was out sick or something. Uh, it also allows a student to ask a question about something outside of class. You know, uh, I was a little fuzzy on this th or that. Uh, and you might say, well, I could use email for that purpose. And yeah, you could use email for that purpose. But for this, it's out in the open. It allows the student to ask and you to respond. And if other students had that question, they'd be able to see that somebody's already asked that question and be able to see their response. Or they might be able to answer the question uh, more thoroughly than you could have. Uh, so it allows students to, it allows the students of the classroom to take over their own learning. Uh, sharing information as well. Uh, this will allow you to, you know, a lot of times when you're coming up with a lesson plan, you'll say, oh, well, I, you know, I wish I could get them to read this or view this or read this news article or whatever. And Facebook allows you to share stuff like that. Uh, and so it allows them to access the supplemental material on their own time with their own interests. Uh, it also allows you to, you know, add learning aids and other stuff like that. Uh, like I have a video up there from the TV show Hysteria. Uh, you know, the invasion song that talks about, it's a short little song that covers all of the invasions throughout history. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's fun little stuff that you can do with this. Little ways to get your students more involved and engaged with their learning. Uh, the last is grouping it together. Uh, Facebook allows you to add groups and stuff like that. And we've, we've covered it a little briefly in this classroom about ways that you can do groups. Um, and there are other stuff that you can do with it, you know, with or without a group. Uh, you know, homework reminders, you know, you brought that up with it, uh, Edmodo as well. Uh, that you can remind people about homework, meetings, deadlines. Uh, I tag uh, my main group here on campus all the time saying, hey, we have a meeting today. Uh, and there actually are people who show up to the meeting saying, yeah, I would have completely forgotten it had I not seen it on Facebook. Uh, you're also able to put up discussion boards uh, on groups uh, and pages. And you might say, well, my gateway has you know, discussion boards. But this allows them to actually get a notification that somebody has responded to them, that there's been an update. Uh, I was an SI in a classroom here on campus uh, where I had to monitor the discussion boards daily in search for uh, people asking questions uh, to the TA. Uh, and I would I'd try generally respond might be you know up to 24 hours before I could respond because I'm checking it once a day, maybe twice. Uh, but uh, I responded to somebody's question, and two weeks later down the line, they said, "Oh, I didn't get your response on the discussion board." I'm like, "I posted it." Well, I you know they didn't get an email response or anything. They didn't actually even think to go back and look on the discussion board. Uh, with Facebook, you know, you're actually told somebody's posted a response. <laughs> Would you like to respond? Uh, and that brings me to the end of the presentation. Uh, is there any questions, feedback, comments?